Hi, I'm Bryce Longerbone, uh, Team Dynamic Disc member, and this is my 2017 in the bag. Uh, I use uh, the Ranger bag, and this is the new Double D cart. Uh, the Ranger bag fits in it quite nicely. I guess we can start off with the putters. Um, I throw the classic Hard Wardens. I carry three putters. Um, these are my two main ones that I use for a putter. This is a first run classic warden and I use this for just little up shots, uh, short shots and stuff like that. It's, it's got a couple of aces on it, so I really love the disc. But I really like the wardens because they, they don't have a bead on them and they come out of my hand smooth. So they're good discs. Uh, moving on, I have a soft harp. I love the soft harp, man. It's just a fantastic disc. It's very consistent. Um, it'll hold up. It's a good stability to it. It'll hold up into a wind. And when it hits the ground, uh, it tends to stop, which is a major thing in Texas because we really don't have a lot of grass most of the times. So we've got a lot of dirt. And uh, the soft harp is just a, an amazing disc. If you don't have one, get one. Uh, moving on, I've got an Opto Fuse. This is uh, also one of my favorite discs. It's, it's a good mid range. It's fairly understable. Um, and that's really what I use it for is just straight to understable shots. Uh, the fuse. Um, I use a Fusion Verdict. Um, this is a little bit more stable. Um, this is a good disc. Uh, it, it pretty much goes straight and then it tends to cut hard left uh, towards the end of the flight. And uh, this is just a, a really good disc, is the Verdict. Also, throw the Moonshine Compass. Uh, for this right here, it's just a, a good quality straight mid range. It, it, it holds on its own. Don't really turn over to the left or turn over to the right or, or fade left. It, it's just a good quality straight mid range and it feels real good in the hands. Um, also carry a Justice. If you don't have a Justice, it's, uh, it's a good utility disc. Um, I don't really throw it too often, but I do throw it for hyzer shots or if it's a, a pretty windy day. Um, it, it tends to hold up, so I really like the Justice as well. Moving on to my fairway drivers. Um, I, I carry a Villain, an old gold line Villain. Um, this disc to me, uh, I, I really love it. It's been in my bag for a long time and I don't really see a whole lot of people throwing the gold line villains. It's just, it goes straight and then it fades off towards the end. Uh, if you throw it into a headwind, it could get a little understable, but uh, it's just a, it's a, it's a perfect fairway driver in my opinion. Also on the fairways, I throw an escape. This is a fusion escape. This, this disc has actually been in my bag since Dynamic Disc decided that they were gonna start making their own discs and whatnot. And, and I love this disc, it's a fusion escape. Um, I use this for my wooded shots, tight tunnel shots, something that uh, you know tends to turn over just a little bit uh, and it fades back at the end. I also carry a brand new Lucid Escape and this is just used primarily for rollers. Um, I really like rolling the Escape. It's, it's more of a straight roller, doesn't really fade off or curl off too fast or anything, so the Escape is a great roller as well. I throw uh, the Trespass, the Fusion Trespass. Uh, this thing is, is money. This is probably, uh, probably my favorite disc in my bag. Um, it's an all around uh, good utility disc. You can do just about anything you want to with the Trespass. So uh, this here is the Thief, uh, it's a Fusion Thief. I throw the thieves just for the understable uh, turnover shots. Um, it works well. It's a good controllable disc. It feels good in the hands. You can do a lot of things with the thief. Moving on to a little bit more stable things. I do throw the enforcer. I carry two enforcers. Uh, one of them is just a fusion enforcer. It's blank. This is brand new. It's pretty overstable from the from the get go. And the other one uh, that I carry is a hybrid enforcer. And this disc is, uh, I've had it for a little while, so it tends to go straight, but still has a good stability at the end. Uh, really one of my go-to drivers, especially into, into the winds and stuff. I do carry a felon. Uh, for me on this felon, uh, I only use the felon when I'm trying to do a skip shots because uh, the felon really does skip well. Um, I also use it uh, when I throw a big spike hyzers. Um, for me, it just, uh, I can grip it pretty good for that and it seems to be a spike hyzer better than any other disc that I have um, but that's why I carry the felon for the skip shots and the spike hyzers and for my distance drivers I've got three different ones I do carry a biofusion defender um, I got this disc at the glass blown open last year and it's been in my bag ever since and when I first got it it was really overstable um, but pretty went a pretty good long ways and now that I've beat it in a lot uh, it just kind of turns over a little bit and still comes back at the end, but it's a good quality disc. Um, also throw the Goldline Ballista. Uh, it's the same thing for distance. Um, it's just 
goes a little further, turns over uh, a little bit to the right, and then comes back at the end. Uh, I also throw the World, it's an Elasto World. It pretty much does the same thing as my Ballista, maybe just a little bit more stable than that. So uh, that's pretty much all my drivers and all my discs. Um, I thank you for watching. This is my In the Bag for 2017.